And now, your first alert five weather. And thanks so much for sticking with us this morning, your Sunday on our streaming platforms here on News 5. Now, heading into that commercial break, I did mention the possibility of a white Christmas. That's still several days away, right? Christmas Eve is until next Sunday, Christmas Day is until next Monday. So a lot can change, but I'm going to show you the potential pattern change here in just a minute. First for today, nice temperatures expected this afternoon, slight cooling Monday, and then it's expected to be mild the rest of the upcoming week. Here's what it looks like now from our rock room and studios. Clear skies on your Sunday morning. We're actually starting out above the freezing mark at 37 degrees in the springs. A beautiful morning here in Pueblo and with sunshine and the promise of more snow melt today, I think we'll warm up our temperatures all the way into the upper 50s. It's going to be about a 10 degree increase from what we saw yesterday when the airport only hit 48. Right now in Canyon City, snow in the hills, probably still some snow on some of our rooftops and maybe shaded areas in town. Currently sitting at about 39 degrees with the feels like temperature down around 32. We do have a weak cold front that'll drop in southern Colorado throughout the next couple of hours. Not going to do much to today's forecast, but it brings in some modest cooling as you make our way towards Monday afternoon. Let me show you what's happening across the East Coast. This is a non tropical system, but it has dropped a lot of rain parts of Florida throughout the weekend. Today it's the Carolinas and Georgia's turn for several inches of rain. There's some flooding concerns out across the southeastern US and farther to the west. Another system moving on shore across the coast of California. Now we will see some clouds from that California system here. But not until this evening. I think most of our day on Sunday is spent with lots of sunshine. That's going to help to boost those temperatures in areas that were a little bit cooler yesterday. So for the most part, we'll be a little bit warmer this afternoon versus what we saw on Saturday. Temperatures around 10 to 15 degrees above average for this time of the year. So here's how your Sunday plays out. No need to worry about any rain or snow. Instead, it's sun glare. If you're spending time driving, maybe to visit some family up in Denver today, we'll be into the upper 50s here throughout southern. Southern Colorado. Once we get past sunset tonight, temperatures drop off pretty quickly to the 30s by around 6 p.m. High pressure building in from the southwest is going to bring us this mild stretch of weather. And even though we'll be a little bit cooler Monday, we're back up Tuesday to Wednesday as that high slowly migrates east into the central and southern plains. Then towards the end of the week, we're watching a few areas of low pressure. I think one brings in some moisture from the south. This one's more associated with the polar jet, but that could bring in those changes for us as we head towards the weekend. You'll see when we get to our super seven days that I've included a chance of snow in most areas by Saturday night. All right, highs today feeling uh, very mild, almost spring like upper 50s, Canyon City and Pueblo today, 59 for Lamar, 57 in the Springs, 48 in Woodland Park. There's that slight cool down Monday, and then we're up to near 60 on Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday in the mid to upper 50s. And by the way, Thursday, is the mark of winter solstice that begins here across the state of Colorado at 827 PM. It's widely considered the shortest day of the year and the length of daylight on that day down under nine and a half hours for Pueblo. We spend the next several days in the 50s and 60s watching that possibility of that area of low pressure spreading some rain and snow to our forecast by Saturday night for Canyon City 50s here through Monday 60s expected on Tuesday Woodland Park 40s and 50s throughout the next five to seven days some snow possible by Saturday night.